good morning and good Friday to everyone out there and especially to Brian I'm told it's pronounced that way it's not spelled that way but it's told it's pronounced that way in Dakar Senegal see more better with free prescription lenses.com but call me mo mo better because i'm have you seeing mo better looking mo better i'm also going to show you how i bring that loving feeling back to glasses when i cut an essilor ideal advanced transitions extra active with the blue flash mirror for brian's ophthalmic club master this is the ray-ban 5154 color 2001 in the 51 eye size i'm especially proud because this is the third family member that I've made glasses for. His nephew Saul in uh, Bronx, New York. I've done one for him, then his brother, and now his uncle in West Africa. You can't get any more West Africa than Dakar. So that's the Upper West Side. <laughs> and, uh, but now I get to do one. And it's just nice knowing that I can touch the lives of people all over the world, helping them see better perform their jobs better, look at the beauty of the world better through the lenses that I make. It's just, you know, hey, we all got to take pleasure in our job. In fact, pleasure in your work brings perfection to your job. So let's make everything perfect for Brian. These are the, of course, it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to him. And it's going to be hard to see. But this is the Ray-Ban 5154 Color 2001 in the 51 eye size. This is the Crystal Silver. It also comes Crystal Gold. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. Whoops, that one's still alive. Get back in there. I'm going to put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. But first I want to program the shape into the computer. Into several computers now. Not just this one. Not just that one, but it's going to go to the cloud now. Hit start. And now the stylus is going to trace the inside of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. So in just a moment, that shape will pop up on the computer, the computer screen. Okay, let's take this out, move on to the next screen. The pupillary distance is 32.5 for each eye. That's 65 divided by 2. That's where my computer starts at. I do want to raise the invisible bifocal height up to 23. Change the layout screen to progressive, which is another name for the invisible bifocal. Now I'm going to take your lens, which I've already got dotted up, place it onto my platform. I need two blocks. Go ahead and grab the second one. Pull the paper away. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to line this magnet up so it stays inside the arm. I'm going to get everything lined up. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame, but your eye is just above that in inset. These other two dots that are lower tells me that it's oriented and they're just right. And hit that button. The block's going to come down and go onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Now the, these mirror coated ones come with these numerical engravings on them. That will be cut off. You can see the green outline of the lens. If it were right here, it'd be, <laughs> it would be seen. But it ain't gonna, it's going to get ground off. I didn't say sound off. I said ground off. Sound off if you want it to ground off. Okay, and boom. Now, this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It costs $40,000 and weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone in Senegal go out and buy one. Put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you anymore. So, let's wake up the computer. This is job number 1549, 1549. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. But those who have seen my videos know I love me some polycarb just because it's thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable, durable, has 100% UVA and B protection. 
I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens, but I am going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. Now it's time to put the lens into the edger. Well, the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's this size. Now this wheel in the center, that channel, that little valley, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Whoa, come on now. That one's still alive. I'm going to put the magnet into the chuck, or by now you know I like to call it the Charles because I don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. I don't know any machine well enough to come up with a better joke. Hit the start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens will be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame first go around. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the right lens, then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to place the bevel for the best cosmetic look possible. And I'm about to show you some cool cosmetic look. But the cutting wheel is starting up. The lens is going to drop down. The water you see in the background is there to catch the optical sawdust that is still all over the machine that I haven't cleaned off today. You know, I would have cleaned it if I knew I was going to invite a million people to watch this. But in just a moment, the lens will drop down onto the cutting wheel. Now, polycarbonate lens is cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, plastic, high-index plastic, and Tribex lens is cut wet, meaning that water does spray onto the lens the entire time that you hear this grinding. Now, water will spray onto your lens, but only for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris, also known as schwarf, that you may see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But speaking of the cosmetic look, I had your lenses ground specifically as thin as possible. I can, it's known as a knife edge grind, thin as possible. The abbreviation for a knife edge grind thin as possible is keg tap. Sounds like something you would be doing in college. Not you, Brian, me. Sounds like something I would be doing in college, except I'm not a non-drinker. Oh no, I forgot to, I'm charging my transitions box. I gotta bring it back over. Let me do that now before I forget. Poof! And now it's there. I had to unplug it to plug in uh, one of the things for the computer, the monitor, the network connections. And so I wanted to make sure this was charged because these are really cool looking lenses and I have to be able to activate them at this video. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. They're 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable and they also have impact resistant and also have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens as well as the Transitions Extra Active Gray with the blue flash mirror applied to that. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up take the lens out see what I can clean off the lens first run my thumbnail around to get that there's some more optical sawdust the Schwarf so now I need a Phillips head screwdriver so that's why I have a tray over here I'm gonna do lefty Lucy now Brian years from now if you ever need new lenses you just need a small Phillips head screwdriver and the nice thing about this crystal frame, you can see the where it mounts. Just partially undo it. The screw has not come out all the way. I, the reason why I do that is I don't want the screw to fall out, go on the floor, and have me having to crawl around on my hands and knees for it. But I tuck the lens in at the outside corner, push down around the edges, and it's these unbreakable lenses snap in easily. So now I'm going to do righty tighty. To close that up better and we're good to go so now let's go ahead and start cutting the left lens press that on there firmly and hit start the door closes the clamp shuts and just like before the lens will be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame and then the old carpenter saying measure twice cut once knowing where to place the bevel so you have the best cosmetic look possible Look at that, you have a combined value of plus five power in these lenses and no edge thickness. These are strong magnifying lenses and you can't see it protrude from the frame. This is gonna turn out really well. Pull the sticker away, that's no longer needed. Use my hand approved drying method, throw that back in there, add to my sticker collection. We're gonna come down here to the lensometer, spin the axis wheel to 90 and put it in over that black dot and read the power. First, we've got to turn it on. That old trick. 
and we're getting plus 250 exactly halfway between two and three that's because your power for the right eye is plus 250 so you are far-sighted you need another 10 steps everything goes in the quarter increments so the unit of measurement is called a diopter spelled d-i-o-p t-e-r he'll understand why i spelled it that way <laughs> but uh that's cool it's all in the name but a diopter is the unit of measurement in the optical world starting at zero and going up in quarter increments so 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 one you're at 250 so you're on the 10th rung of a ladder you need 10 steps of magnification to see clearly far away now once everything is the correct size you have another six steps which puts you on the 16th rung of a ladder power wise you have six steps of astigmatism correction uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters p and f so once it's the correct size we take away those fuzzy edges by correcting for the astigmatism we're going to read the second curve on the lens and we end up at plus one that's because you start off at plus 250 you subtract 150 from that you have one left now what's unique is you have the same axis in both eyes that is rare it's at the 90th meridian so this is in regards to your stigmatism correction it tells us where to place you have one curve on your eye which is plus 250 you have a second curve 90 degrees away and it's how we line up those two curves to make everything nice and crisp and we're going to turn down a straight line of zero to 180 we're going to stop halfway at the 90th meridian now your left eye you only need nine steps of far-sighted correction and only two steps of astigmatism correction but we still turn that fine tune knob to 90. now i'm giving you a plus two and a quarter bifocal strength if you were ever to buy over-the-counter reading glasses this is called the ad it's a progressive additional lens pal because it means in addition to what's on top so you have a plus 250 to see far away now you actually could wear over-the-counter reading glasses in a two and a quarter or a 250 depending on if you're right eye or left eye dominant if you're right eye dominant you would wear a plus 250 if you're left eye dominant you would wear a plus two and a quarter but so you need another two and a quarter on top of this two and a quarter if your left eye being a total of 450 which they don't make over the counter reading glasses that strong for your right eye it would be 475. now this frame sells for 180 dollars the progress progressive additional lens which is the Essilor ideal advance i just forgot to write that down adds 149.99 the transitions extra active in gray or brown you chose gray is 99.99 and then any of the six color of the flash mirror coatings of which you got blue is 69.99 for a total of 499.97 let's go ahead and take this left lens out i'm just happy that after i touch this lens the next face it's going to sit on is going to be in africa how cool is that I love making glasses. I can't find your glass. Look, I've already lost them before they get to Africa. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hey, it's early in the morning. I need coffee. Oh, I need coffee. I've been up since five. That's when that's when winners wake up. So Lefty Lucy, I did not take the left. Oh, see, it tried to pop out all the way and to prevent. Now, years from now, the reason why I have this tray, the reason why I have this paper towel, well, I use it to draw off the lenses, but anyone who has a metal frame like this where you have to undo the screw, taking a baking dish or metal pan and a soft t-shirt or dish towel, put it in the pan, and if the screw comes out, it'll land on something soft like that. If it hits something hard, it will bounce onto the floor. Good luck finding one of these things. So, oh, see, see, you don't want that to happen. It's happening to me. I'm a pro. I've been doing this for years up 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 that's why you don't want the screw to fall out let's go ahead and put that back in it's not in the slot yet but my as i rotate my phillips head screwdriver it pops in come down here to my little rubber stop use that to protect the finish of your frame against my hardwood counter do a little bit of righty tidy look at that that is closed perfectly can you see that can you see how i did that kids kids are you watching are you paying attention all right so oops drop that dry that off throw that in there add this to my don't stick to the table i said don't <laughs> stick that on there we're going to come down here to the lensometer put it in above that black dot i don't have to turn the axis wheel because it's on 90 the same axis for your left eye and i'm going to read the power two and a quarter one tick mark going up away from two towards three 
you have two steps of astigmatism correction in your left eye. So if all goes well, we're going to end up at minus 175. I'm sorry, plus 175. We're going to subtract minus 50 from plus 2 and a quarter, and we end up at plus 175. One tick mark away from 2 going towards 1. So your pupillary distance for, your, for both eyes is 65. I'm going to turn the card around when I place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens, then hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 65 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. You have an invisible bifocal height of 23. Turn the card around, and when you look at the bottom of the frame, we're getting 23 millimeter. I'm sorry, excuse me, the center of the middle of the bottom of the frame. Does that make sense? The middle of this metal piece. That's what I'm saying. 23. Do the same thing on this side. 23. Man, I'm telling you, that guy with two thumbs is good. You should let, he should cut more glasses for all over the world for different continents. So this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping in the US. Now there is international shipping and let me explain how I do that. I charge $35 for international shipping because it's different rates all over the world. It rarely goes over 35. And so let's say it costs $21. I will refund $14 back to your PayPal account. On the shipping label, you will see how much I was charged by PayPal to ship. And so that's how you know how much I'm going to subtract from your total to reapply back to your debit card or credit card or however you use to use PayPal. But I also like to mention that when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's a much higher chance, in fact, an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different, and I'll show you why I'm part of that 80%. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first. So just go to the place, your optometrist's office in, or ophthalmologist's office in Dakar and just tell them if it's sitting high on one side, they'll know what to do. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses properly. Now the other thing I do is I send out a selfie request in every package. Brian, 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 please! I do not have a picture from Africa. I've got one from Poland. I've got one from Thailand, the Philippines. I've got one from Australia. I just got one this morning from Germany. I need to get that posted on the website on social media. I'll do that today. Um, and Jamaica. Did I mention Jamaica before? But so I would love to have your picture from Africa, from Senegal. I also send out and it's cleaning instructions, not just for your frame and your lenses and your case, so they'll last you for years, but for your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I'll provide. No other seller does that on the internet, I am told. But let's get this in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I am part of that 80%. When I take my Ray-Bans off and press down on the counter, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Now, the Ray-Ban 5154 is the ophthalmic version of the Ray-Ban 3016 Clubmaster. When I say ophthalmic, it means it's designed to have prescription lenses in there. I'm wearing the 2132 New Wayfarer sunglasses that I took the sunglass lenses out to do the same thing. I put my transition lenses with Crizal Anti-Glare into here. Now, Ray-Ban makes an ophthalmic version of this, which is parallel to this frame, and it's called the 5184. Once the geek chic look became popular, Ray-Ban started putting clear lenses in their traditional sunglass frames. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo! And that's what they did. They put clear lenses into the Ray-Ban Clubmaster. And of course, this only comes, I have people who buy this as sunglasses because they would love this look. Anyone out there who wants that Ray-Ban Green G15, this lens looks incredible in a crystal frame, the crystal silver or the crystal gold. If you still like the classic black or tortoise, there's even a red Havana, a blue Havana. Uh, tortoise with blue on the inside. This frame comes in about a dozen colors and two sizes, 49 and 51. This is the 51, but this is what they look like with your lenses clear. Now, what you have, the blue flash mirror while indoors looks like Crizal Sapphire on steroids. I have Crizal Sapphire. That blue is really pronounced. It looks like a really cool anti-glare coating. It's a great fashion statement as well as providing something a functional use. Now, here's the difference between the Transitions Extra Active. I have the Signature 7 lenses. 
these are the extra active these are the original lenses that came in that have about one to two percent hue meaning that all lenses will absorb some light none of them let all the light pass through come on snell's law everyone out there listening to me look up snell's law s-e-n-e-l-l -L. that's one of the math formulas you have to learn as an optician my transition signature seven have three to five percent the transitions extra active have five to seven percent now talk about harmful blue light which is very popular now transitions were the original blue light blocking lens let me not lose that i'm gonna put that there so not everyone gets trans not everyone gets transition so Crizal came out with with Provencia which blocks blue light now my transition signature 7 block about 30 to 40 percent of the harmful blue light transitions extra active block 50 to 70 percent of the harmful blue light that's out there now these lenses again let me put mine back on so I can see the you're not compromising anything with this mirror coating it comes with its own back surface anti-glare so you have the blue blocking ability of the transitions extra active with the with the anti-glare coating and as well as the mirror coating on the front the nice thing about the mirror coating is that it reflects the sun rays back so it feels darker i know a very scientific term it feels that used to bother me it's like that heat index it's uh you know it's 80 degrees but with the humidity it feels like it's 90 degrees how scientific is that <laughs> so today it's going to be raining unless you have an umbrella then it's going to feel dry <laughs> so that's not going to stop the rain all right i'm off on a tangent let me get back to work so this is what your lenses look like clear indoors before they have been activated now you when i take them out of the box they'll have a blue mirror coating on the outside they'll be gray this way so when you look out it's going to be gray everyone who looks at you will see blue let's go ahead and do that now yesterday when my technician who sold me my forty thousand dollar piece of equipment then upgraded me to my four thousand dollar computer system which will send everything to the cloud if all this heaven forbid something were to happen to it the roof falls in it blows up it burns down i can get new equipment with insurance go to the cloud pull this shape up and cut these lenses and mail them to you now everyone listening who's gotten glasses from me in the last year and a half up to number 1550 we're working on everything that got transferred over to the computer and i'm pointing to the monitor but everything to the computer in the cloud i use these barcodes this system uses one <laughs> digits up to nine digits so it's a different format so we got someone i got a guy named clem who's in richmond virginia he's in the process of working out all the kinks to restore all the data now going forward boy am i running my mouth today going forward it's never going to be an issue but anyone else who gotten glasses for me up to 1500 and actually 49 because i cut derrick's last night i'm in the process it's just going to take me a minute or two to get clem to transfer that data back over to my system I used the wand that fell down in last night's video. I hit the SE box. I scan SE box and it will pull that number up and put it to my tracer. So again, this is what they look like clear. I just wanted to take a minute to explain the process. Brian in Dakar, Senegal, you don't have to worry about that. Derek, last night, you don't have to worry about that. Because none of you have to worry about it. I'm the one who has to stress over it, figuring out how to pull up the saved data. So as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside to return back to virtually clear. About a minute to a minute 15. Now, Brian and everyone else watching this video, pay attention. All transition lenses get dark on day one and will continue to get dark for the first couple weeks they're exposed. After two weeks, they'll be at their maximum darkness. Now, the only time they won't work is if Transition Signature 7 are in a car. Your windshield absorbs all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause it to turn dark from sitting in the sun all day. Now, these Transitions Extra Active that I'm holding on my finger will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now, all Transition lenses are temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above but i remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside having said that since these are being shipped to africa the extra active will get darker in hotter weather in fact that's why i told his son his nephew about that look at that look at that that is just tough that's what i'm talking about come on eslo you bring in the heat making some strong lenses now this comes in silver, gold, green, blue, red, and pink. 
Now again, when you look out, that's what you see. When people look at you, that's what they see. Now it's not as reflective as true sunglass lenses. It has to be at a certain angle. I don't know how much of the reflection you guys are going to see as I move this back and forth. I can see my reflection. I can see my GoPro on my head. By the way, everyone, oh, I'm spending some money this week. I'm ordering a new GoPro 7 in black this weekend. So my video starting next week will be, you won't have this jumpiness feature. <laughs> it's supposed to have an auto gyroscope in there when I move my head around. Now, as I keep running my mouth, these lenses will keep getting lighter and lighter back to the color they were right before I activated them. But if you've liked my video and you want to see more of really cool lenses and frames coming up, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. On Twitter as FreeRxLenses. You can also email me. Hang on one second. One second. Okay, sorry about that. My man Dante, my UPS driver, was dropping off lenses and frames for today. He got here a little bit early. I tried to sneak in a video before he got here, but I heard him knocking on the door. So, again, even though I took a minute to talk to him, you can still see the blue mirror in there. These are lightning. But where was I at? Okay, yeah, you're following me on social media. You can email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button i do not have every ray-ban or any other frame i sell not all the models on the website so anyone listening if there's a frame you want that i don't have listed on my website i'll be more than happy to check on the availability just email me what size what model size and color you want and i'll check on that for you and or you can leave a question or comment in the comment section below and I will respond to that. So you can see these are keep getting lighter, lighter and lighter. That mirror is fading. The mirror is fading. So, but Brian in Dakar, Senegal, West Africa. Thank you so much for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 5154 Ophthalmic Clubmaster. Size 51 in color 2001. The crystal with silver. And hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.